Righto, so um, I know there's a lot of talk about um, the GoPro Karma NAND and saturation. Um, and I think a lot of it is people just regurgitating what they've heard elsewhere. Um, and I get it. You know, that's how we learn. People say things and we believe it until another theory is put forward. I just wanted to draw it up on the board to see if it makes sense. Because for me, the discussion around the NAND being saturated doesn't make sense. So when we look at the NAND, let's just take some of the basic uh, principles around memory and things like that. So if we just class the NAND as another memory chip, basically what we have is we have a range of memory and the memory has they have an unusual way of addressing memory um, so let's just say this is you know a whole stack of zeros and this might be a whole stack of a's let's not get too bogged down in you know the addressing side of it and when we flash to that memory and we create those partitions that the different things live in, like the bootloader and the kernels, you know, the black box, things like that. There's in the, in the karma, there's about 12 of them. So let's just say we'll divide this up into 12 if we can. So that's one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we've got twelve. We've now got twelve partitions. So the idea or the theory behind saturation is that there's so much written to the NAND that it can't take any more. You know, you've exceeded capacity. Whether it's a log file has just gone wild and rampant and just wiped everything out or whatever the case may be. So let's start at the beginning. When the karma is provisioned, each of these partitions has data written to it. And it'll use so much of that partition. You know, the space available to that partition. So, if when you get it brand new, it looks like that. That's how, let's just say that's how much of each partition is used. Now, if we're saying that that NAND has become saturated or because of errors and I'm not going to go too far into it, but the NAND has an error correction system. There's also a thing around the self recovery effect on error retention, but we won't go into that. So basically what happens is the NAND has an error table. So it knows when a block within the NAND is bad and it flags it so that it doesn't use it because it knows it's bad. It knows that over time, some of those locations within the NAND are gonna die and they're gonna be bad. So it creates a table so that it knows not to use those. So, if our NAND from, let's call it zero to A, and all those partitions, if there's that many errors that it's, that it's exceeded capacity, this is all full, right? There's no capacity, it's just done, it's toasted, it's chockers. How is it that the current fix to this problem is to rewrite 
just one partition within the NAND. Does that make sense? So what I'm saying is that the NAND isn't saturated. It doesn't have that many errors that there's no longer anywhere to write. What I'm saying is that there's an issue. This one's bootloader, first one's bootloader. There's an issue with the bootloader partition for whatever reason if it's an update that has failed to correctly write to that and has corrupted it and i'm by no means saying and i do not subscribe to the theory that gopro pushed an update which grounded drones because that would be extremely unethical that for whatever reason, on some drones that maybe an update broke it or something else has broken the bootloader partition. And that bootloader partition is no longer usable. And just going back to some of the original theory, which is in my other video, the bootloader partition is a generic partition which loads first. It then provides something that things like your kernel and other operating system type stuff can load into. Because in the fix that we put forward, all we do is reestablish the bootloader partition. We rewrite that and then Everything else works. If, if the NAND was saturated and all these other partitions were corrupt, why is it that by rewriting only the bootloader that the drone now works, that the kernel loads, that all the other partitions that are required work correctly? So... I think that is my point, that I don't believe the NAND is saturated. I don't believe that it's at a state where it has that many errors that there is no space left. That the only thing that's required to fix what is known as the pairing issue is to rewrite that bootloader partition. Because for whatever reason, it's broken. Don't care. Don't care why it's broken. Flash a new one in and the drone will work again. And that's my point. All these other partitions are working fine after we fix that initial boot. So I'll leave that with you. Just something to ponder over.